Aunt Amelia by Rebecca Cobb We were in a bad mood. Aunt Amelia was coming to look after us. We didn't know who Aunt Amelia was, and we didn't want looking after. Dad said we had met her once, when we were tiny. Mum said we had to be good. Mum and Dad left a list of instructions. Thank you, said Aunt Amelia. I'm sure these will be very useful. We started on the list straight away. It said, Please tell the children to be careful if you go to the park. Don't let them go near the edge of the pond or get themselves too dirty. They can have an ice cream, but just one each. They already have plenty of toys and don't let them pester you for sweets. The children will need some quiet time so they don't get overexcited. Make sure that they help you with keeping the house clean and tidy and neat. And for dinner, they can choose what to have as long as it's something sensible. They are allowed one story before bedtime, but absolutely no television. And don't let them stay up too late. The next day, Mum and Dad were coming home, so we got the house ready for them. I hope they've been good, asked Mum. Good as gold, said Aunt Amelia. Were the instructions helpful, asked Dad. Very, said Aunt Amelia. Mum and Dad asked if we would like Aunt Amelia to come and look after us again sometime. Yes, please, we said, and perhaps you could write another list. The end of A Beautiful Story by the same author as Paper Dolls, which is one of my favourites, and that's Aunt Amelia by Rebecca Cobb, here on the Lights Out Podcasts.